Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel and in today's video I'll be going over 5 things you can do to improve and hit that dream rank of yours. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, welcome to tip number 1 and tip number 1 is going to be watching your replays. And the main, 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 main thing I suggest for you all for watching your replays is not watching every single little touch you guys do, every single little thing you guys do. That is not what uh, the replay should be used for. The replay should be used for watching like big things, especially when you're starting out and watching your own replays. Like, let's see this, this save here. It looks like I'm on defense. So what led to this play? A little bit of uh, miscommunication. They got it over my teammate and I had to make the save. I didn't get the best touch, but what it does allow me to is follow it up and get a goal right so if i'm going back and watching this for a replay review i'm gonna go okay kickoff happened or something happened at 50 miscommunication between me and my teammate of who's going to get the boost who's going to go for the ball he goes for the ball i go for the boost and that's someone had to fill the role of the first man there and if you don't know the role of the first man i've uh listed out several times in my uh rank up series so go watch that if you're interested but uh, someone had to fulfill the role of first man, and congrats to my teammate, he did. And I was their second man, or his defense, and we got a goal out of it. Any way to make this better is obviously better communication. Right here is, it's just awkward, and you won't be in this situation too much, but always got to make sure that like, you dictate your car movements, and the better you are at like realizing that uh, that's happening is spending more time in the game like this like obviously it's, it's pretty obvious there's no other reason my teammate should be here uh besides grabbing the boost and it's not registered on the screen right now but there's a hundred pad there and i noticed based off his car that he's gonna go somewhere else and gonna leave me the boost so him doing that right there and i'm following my, my momentum so i'm gonna do stuff like that so he's got to turn and kill his momentum to uh go for the ball but you know it works out always got to make sure that you're looking for a better situation though like if this guy's a little bit better he touches this on that and it's probably a goal but he doesn't we get a goal so that's the that's the human factor of it and yeah that's what i would, suge would suggest in going up replays look over big things and mainly Stick to things that show up on the uh, timeline here, like this save, like what led to the save. Okay, bad 50 from my end. I gotta cover the pass mid, that's what my little cam camera flick there was for. I was looking at the mid. Could have gone here, but it would have been really bad for my teammate if he wins the 50, and I'm right there to block this, so this is a good read on my end. Could have been a little bit unfortunate if it got past him, but that's what it is. So right there, I couldn't have done anything much better than what I did. And that's also another thing you got to think of is what could I have done better here? Or is there something I could do better? Because if there isn't, then that's what it is, right? But yeah, that's tip one. I'll see you in tip two. Now, the second tip here is a little bit different than what people normally do. And normally people would say, like, watch out for your mechanics and all that. But I'm trying to avoid mechanics as much as possible. Because, you know, that's just, mechanics come with time, right? And that's pretty much it. So tip number two for you today is watching your mentality and your mental and whatever you want to call it, your mood, whatever it is. That's what you should watch out for in tip number two. If you're having a bad day or you're super stressed, you're probably not going to play good. And you don't have to play every day. You don't have to... Or at least Q ranked every day. You can hop on, play a few casuals, get off. Like, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're watching your mental and making sure that you're in a good positive spot. The game probably becomes easier if you're in a good mood. And I say probably because, of course, there's going to be uh, unfortunate circumstances with uh, your teammates or whatever. Whatever everyone wants to complain about. It's all about mental. And that's where... You know, obviously the pros are a lot better than it, than a lot of us. They kind of just shrug things off mostly. And if people can learn to do that, I'm sure people can climb ranks and improve. It's definitely helped me in the past. 
uh, working on my mentality in the game. And yeah, that's tip number two. I'll see you guys in tip number three. All right, tip number three for you guys is something I highly, 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 highly suggest as well as every other tip on here, obviously, but it is to make a warm up or like a training routine. For me, I don't just hop on and play rank. That's not good for me and I don't feel great just hopping on cold. So what I do, I usually just go into training, hit the ball around for a little bit, warm up my hands, warm up my fingers, and make sure that my basics are there. I can fly, I can read things, whether it goes in or not. I can read things, I can hit the ball on the wall, I can carry my momentum, I can do certain mechanics that I won't try now, but I make sure all those are good and dandy. And then I open up my Bacchus mod, so sorry to all the console people, I will have suggestions afterwards, of course. But then I go into workshop maps. Right now, I'm using Hornet's Nest by DMC. Uh, it helps with my car, like mechanics, my movement, my uh, control over my car, all of that. And I open up Bacchus mod and I set my current game setting to uh, 1.8 because it makes your car move a little faster and so when you go into normal games your car feels slow but also controlled and you can control it a little bit better than like this little fast like if i flip the car you can see that the the games change but yeah that's what i suggest or that's what i do as well as go into another map called uh olympics 2 by eversax it was a challenge map he did a while back like a long while back all you do is turn off unlimited boost and you go into olympic or training whatever you're trying to work on and you can practice your flicks pinches dribbles shooting all on the left side of the screen here it challenges you in all of those so you will improve in all of them and it gives you a score at the end where you know you can see your improvement if you go from averaging 20 20 percent or like 20.2s to all of a sudden uh being an average of like a 30 plus person uh then obviously you've improved or at least you've understood the map a little bit better or mastered something about this and those are the two maps that i primarily do if i'm feeling rough on any other thing i'll go into rings or i'll go into a dribble map it doesn't really matter but that's what i do if you're on console though and you don't have access to uh, workshop maps there's always custom training which will have the progression packs, which I, I do suggest. I did the SSL one way back when, and it was pretty decent, as well as a few GC ones. Otherwise, it's things to warm up your hands, warm up your movements. So things that can challenge you, like air dribbles, double tap playground, ultimate warm up. There's a warm up right here that you can do. So if you're going in cold and you're always saying, well, I don't know what to warm up on, just do this. Do the ultimate warm up, double tap, and probably air dribbles here and you will you should be fine right and if not then tailor something more towards you where uh if you want to work on your saves you go to saves i don't know if this is a good pack but you know you don't have many options on console so yeah so that's what i suggest that's what i do and on to tip number four all right, tip four for you guys is going to be watching pro replays or watching pros play at all. That's going to be my number four tip. And the reason for that is because pros are just so much better at the game than anyone else. Like, it is crazy. If you take me, for example, who has been at GC for forever and is currently, like, GC3 area, typically, uh, they are just that much better to where I look... I look like a bronze or a diamond towards them. Like, watching them can, like, open your eyes to different things, different, like, ideas, way to challenge, how to hit that double tub that I just did not hit, or stuff like that. So, watching pros play, you could even make that in your warm-up, right? You can, like, put tip four here and tip three together and make watching pros and playing the game part of your warm-up. I know my old duo used to do that, and he was honestly better than me. And, you know, he watched pros for his warm-up and just messed around in free play. So, if they can do it, or if he can do it, you guys can do it. 
So, yeah. That's going to be tip number four. I'll have links to uh, channels that do pro replays or pro analysis uh, in the description below if you're interested. And, uh, yeah, give them a watch because they're definitely good. But uh, on to tip number five. All right, tip five for you guys is going to be play to improve, not to win. But before I describe that to you guys, I suggest that you hit that sub button if you haven't already or if you're enjoying or... Uh, think these tips will help you at all please do hit that sub button it really means a lot and i'm on the road to 2k subs where i'll be doing a face reveal and a long stream as well as giving away coaching sessions so if you're interested in that uh do hit that sub button and yeah but playing to improve not to win is kind of like just going for things if that makes sense like since everyone is always learning the game and is always like trying to understand new portions of it you try you kind of it's like being in free play the whole time like just go for things that you don't go for like the more you try things the more things you're experienced at and the more things you'll know like if you let's say you're a diamond or something and you go up the wall and you're not usually good at the wall and you try to hit this ball you jump off you're trying something you're you may not hit it and probably in fact won't hit it but you're learning to hit that ball so that when the time comes and it's your uh, champ rank up game and that ball that situation comes up again and you hit it you know because you've practiced it enough when you try to win or when you primarily play to win you kind of don't try things you kind of play stale and you don't elaborate you usually like play the same way and you go back to your comfort zones if you're playing to improve you're constantly out of your comfort zone and you constantly go for things that you don't usually do. That's kind of what I mean by playing to improve and not to win. Like there, I, in a game situation, I probably wouldn't try that unless the ball is close by, but you know, if I'm feeling out of my comfort zone or if I want to improve, I'll try it, right? And that just is how I'd learn a mechanic faster. Like going for it in games like, oh, reset what was that going for a reset ooh something like that it makes it a whole lot easier if that makes sense just going for things and practicing them in game ranked or not pretty much just playing out of your comfort zone i highly suggest it and it's what's gotten me to where i am as well as other people i try to describe i'm talking to you guys about but also, since you made it this far in the video, you guys get a bonus tip. And if you are this far, I do greatly appreciate it. And yeah. But the bonus tip is to have fun with it. Very simple. It is a game after all. <laughs> so if you have fun with it, I'm sure that, you know, it'll be fun for a lot longer than going hard, getting a champ 2, getting stuck in champ 2, and then just kind of quitting that doesn't sound like fun to me and yeah if you make it fun if you play with friends or if you don't have friends on the game you know going to rank going to casual friend friend some people i'm sure people will friend you back and you can do it or call out 1v1s or <laughs> whatever but make sure to have fun with it because at the end of the day it is a game so yeah those are my five tips that Hopefully, hope you all, and uh, yeah, hope you all enjoy, and have a good one. Peace.